everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. How are you doing? Thank you so much for joining me today. So I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff I have been buying for my eBay page, and a lot of it I'm not really sure about. Now, I just got this one today. I kept the price on it. It needs to be cleaned. It looks like somebody had flowers in it. This was $4. So I recognize right away that this is a Fenton. I don't really know much about glassware, but that much I do know but it does need to be clean. See, it looks like there's some dirt inside there. So I'm going to attempt to clean this. My understanding from, I don't know where I read this, is that if you have a grime inside a vase like this where you really can't get, see a sponge doesn't fit in there or anything, uh, you can use denture tablets. So I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on some of those and see if I can get that grime out of there. Not sure what it's worth, not signed Fenton, but I, I do believe it is. So I got that for $4. Now I got this for a dollar. This looks like this will be plenty fun to ship because of that handle. <laughs> but how cute is this? So this is anthropology. Sometimes anthropology stuff sells very, very well. So that's why I got this. This was a dollar at a yard sale. That might've been 50 cents. It's in perfect condition, no chips, no issues. So we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully I'll be able to make a couple bucks on that. Then I got this one at a yard sale. This was a dollar. And this is a wine stopper. I actually really love wine stoppers. Believe it or not, I use them too. It's just sort of fun, I think, when you have people over to use different wine stoppers. So I got this one for myself. And that says Woolworths of Mexico. Interesting. I just really like her expression. I like her puffy cheeks. She's in perfect condition. Cute, right? I kind of like that one. So that one's just for me. Kind of a wacky item, but I think it will make people smile. It makes me smile. Next, I got this. Now, this was $10 at a yard sale, so I don't really know much about it other than when you open this box, it smells scrumptious, I'll tell you that much. I have to make sure these are still sealed. I sure hope they are. Uh, I'm thinking, no, I really should have checked that, but wow, that smells nice. So hopefully, this is a valuable thing. Let me see if there's a barcode. No, there's no barcode, but I will, um, I will look this up. Hopefully, I'll make some money on this, not sure. So my basic rule when I'm sourcing for eBay items, I always say to myself, really no matter what it is, even if it's jewelry or anything, the criteria I, I use is I say, is, is it A, an object of beauty? Is it B, an oddball item? Or is it C, a collectible item? And that's the three categories. That's sort of how my mind thinks. So obviously, object of beauty, oddball item, collectible because it's anthropology, I hope. And then, um, yeah, I don't know, what would you consider this? I guess, well, a collector, somebody might collect Versace. Now, I guess I would say item of beauty on that, right? Because the scent is beautiful. So these were items that I'm hoping, or these are items that I'm hoping are collectible items. So sometimes gun things like this, they're very specific. There might be a collector's market. I've never seen these before. I don't know a thing about guns. And, um, but they're signed by the author. So that's what I was thinking. They were a dollar each at a yard sale. So that's why I picked these up. I didn't really look these things up yet. I think I quickly glanced at these, but you know, if I can get $15 or $20, I mean, I hope I get a lot more, but if I just even get a small amount, I have no issues with these types of things because they're very easy to ship and stuff like that. So here's an oddball item. Look at this. It's like a drink mixer thing. And uh, yeah, a martini shaker, yeah, that's better. <laughs> I think this is really fun. It looks like a pill bottle. Refer to the morning guide for proper use and dispensing of boozamin. I just thought that was kind of fun. I don't know, I love martinis. May cause dizziness, euphoric tendencies and increased chances of a good time. <laughs> Objects may appear more attractive than they seem. Yeah, kind of funny, right? So I'm not sure yet if I will sell this or keep it, but I might keep it. It's kind of fun, right? So that, then this is glass. It's kind of a, a nice martini shaker, I think. So I got this earlier today and I think it's really cool the way that face is. Is this uh, Bacchus or something like that? Is that what that's called? I'm not sure. Um, but it is a Balik. You probably can't see that, but I looked at it with my loop. It says Balik somewhere there. This is very, very thin. 
you see the light right through it and it was two dollars so this seemed like it was antique to me and so that's why i picked this one up i don't know if it's worth anything or not but i thought for two I would check it out. Seems like a good price. And then I got this kind of cute tile. I said, maybe somebody collects this. Isn't that an adorable cat? Let's see what it says here. Coins Company, Cats and Dogs and People too. Is that what that says? Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I uh, just thought I would buy it just in case it was 50 cents. And I thought maybe this would be a collectible item to somebody. Next up, I got this Kate Spade bag. Now, I am very afraid of buying these. I see all kinds of beautiful bags like this all the time, but the woman swore to me that it was authentic, and she said she bought it herself. Uh, I think she said, um, not Macy's. Oh, I can't remember now what she said. But anyway... Uh, Nordstrom's. I think she said she got this at Nordstrom's at the mall. I don't know. It was $5. So I figured worst case on this, I'm going to ask a couple of people who know more about bags than I do. Um, if it's authentic, I'm going to sell it. If, if it isn't, I might just keep it because I think it's actually a very, very cute bag. I love the color. I found these at a yard sale and right away they really have that very slick looking uh, Danish modern look. They are marked Denmark. I believe they are silver plated and I have to look up who did them, but I think these are really, really cool. Aren't these nice? This would look very, very elegant. It would take really small candles. I don't know if you can tell that. It's not the standard size. It would be those tall, skinny candles. Very, very cool mid-century modern items. I think I paid a dollar for the pair. And here's an oddity. Parrot Jungle on South Red Road, Miami, Florida. And they're like giant matches. Maybe they're just really big. <laughs> so I thought maybe this is a collectible thing. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, right? Really big. So I thought maybe this would have a little bit of value. I think I paid a quarter for this one. Look at this cute item. I really don't enjoy shipping cookie jars, but if it sells for a bunch, I will do it. I have shipped them before. So this is pretty cute. Those are elves, I guess, right? How adorable. Oh, grandma elf, or maybe that's mama elf. How cute. And so it is clearly marked. Unibok, is that how you say that? 1980, Gorum. Yeah, love it. I thought this was really very cool and it's just, it's pristine. So we will see about that. So I don't usually buy Lennox items. I don't usually have great luck with them, but I found this for $2 in a thrift store this morning and I got it. I just thought this was extra, extra unusual and pretty cool. I think that really looks like movement. Great ocean wave. There it is, Lennox, 1995. Have no idea if it's worth anything, but there's no chips or cracks or any kinds of issues at all. And I just fell in love with it. I think this is very interesting. So hoping that this might be a collectible item that somebody might like to have. This doesn't show up very pretty on my camera, but it actually is quite nice. So this one probably is 90s, I would think. Somerset. Hmm. Really cute. Now I got this from a junk store. I've bought a lot of jeans there, a lot of underwear there, and I think it all came from the same woman who was like a, a hoarder, like a clothes hoarder. I noticed that in a lot of the things that I bought there, like some things she had like three and four of the same item and stuff like that, you know? So uh, I guess she had a little bit of an obsession with clothes. You know, the way I do with jewelry, I'm certainly not uh, certainly not judging, you know? So this was hers too. I think this is just really cute. This is kind of, I don't know, what would you consider this with the criteria? An object of beauty? Nah, probably not. Oddball? It's a little odd in a good way, I think. Look, the cat has a little jingle bell on its tail. Grandkids live paw prints on our hearts. Ah, oh, really cute. Basic additions. Kmart. Wow, there's another store that's not a lot around anymore. So this one is new and I thought maybe somebody might want to buy that. So this lady apparently loved Lucy. Who doesn't love Lucy? And this is the Mita Vegavitamin. Is that what that's called? 
as I remember. So I figured if I could pay 50 cents for this or whatever it was and get, um, you know, 15 or $20, I would be very happy. So, and then as I've said a million times, I got a huge underwear collection and a lot of them are sort of those granny panties and I have girdles and stuff, but a lot is these really sexy ones too. And I think these are all from the eighties and how beautiful is this? I just pulled out one, but I have bags and bags and bags of them and they're all new with the tag. $40. Whoa. Adriana collection. Hmm, never heard of it. I don't know. You know, I got them all for a really good price. So at some point I am going to start putting up the sexier things too. Um, hoping to really just make a bunch of money that is just so frilly and so girly and just beautiful. How nice and how nicely made this is too. Beautiful lace on this. So at some point I'll get to these. This came from the clothing lady too. Another item new with tags. Mary Saul, okay. I thought this was really interesting. She had a lot of handbags. They were all new. I did just sell a Vera Bradley one that I had picked up. Uh, I don't know that much about handbags, but I really was just trying to pick the more beautiful ones or the more interesting ones to me. And I thought this one was a very nice object of beauty. So I got that. I found this guy at a yard sale a couple of weeks ago. So I know who this is. This is grubby and it is really grubby. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to clean that up or not. I certainly hope so. But he is part of the Teddy Ruxpin family. And Teddy Ruxpin, uh, you put, I think it was cassette tapes, right? Or some sort of tape. Yeah, I don't know what this thing does, but I got to try to figure out. You put some stuff in there. Well, it definitely probably needs batteries. Definitely, probably. <laughs> That's not a very good sentence. But um, he talks and his mouth's going to open and close, hopefully. I'm not sure what grubby is worth, but this is just a really great vintage item. It's really heavy. It's really beautifully made. He actually, he looks like he's going to walk, too. I think he walks and talks. Well, we're going to find out. So I got that, hoping it's a collectible thing. I think she charged me three for him. So I thought that would be a nice gamble, just in case, right? Yeah, his eyes are going to move too, aren't they? I found this at a yard sale for a dollar. I think this is really fun cyanide. Very fun uh, coffee mug. Now, I think I'm keeping this one. Made in England, Kiln the Craft. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever sold Kilncraft before, but I think this is a very uh, funny coffee mug, so I'm happy with that. Now, I got this bag of stuff over the summer. The guy gave me the whole bag for $10. So, um, you know, my goal here is to think that something in here might be worth a bunch. Um, that's what I'm hoping. Oh, Pink Panther cars. Those are cool. KB Toys. I don't think that exists anymore. So uh, that's why I bought the whole thing when he said you can have the whole bag for 10. I was all about it. Look, the Jetsons. How are these not going to be worth something, right? So what I'll do is I will go through these one by one, and then I will cherry pick out the most um, valuable ones. Oh, Buddy Al, I think that's a collectible thing. I'll cherry pick out the most valuable ones. I will sell those, and then the rest... I would either lot up and sell on eBay or I would give to that auction that I really like to sell. You know, you don't sell your stuff to the auction house. You bring it to them and then they, you know, put it in the auction or whatever. You guys know what I mean. So I will either do that afterwards or just put them all on eBay and ship them all at once. Some of these have to be worth something. Oh, that's an awesome Chevy. Anyway, I'm not a car person, but um, yeah, the, the price was right. So here's hoping that something in here, I don't know, should I keep taking them out? Or is this boring? Johnny Lightning, no idea. I don't know who Johnny Lightning is. Huh. Anyway, I think there's just a couple more. Chevy Impala. Ames, whoa, who remembers Ames? Another store that doesn't exist anymore, right? Another Chevy, somebody really liked Chevys. No clue. None at all. I don't even think I took all these out yet. Stock rods. Oh, cornflakes. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I should probably do this today because if I got rid of all of these, 
that would be great because these are taking up a lot of space, this big bag. Oh, this is like an oversized one compared to the other ones. Hopefully I have a little bit of money sitting here. We shall see. So I went with my niece yesterday to a Goodwill and they had this. This is pretty cool and it is a Yankee thing. So you put the tea light in there and this came together. I'm guessing they bought it like this at Yankee Candle. I think this was $5.99 and I figured I could probably get 25 or 30 bucks for it. Hopefully more, not sure, but this is all ceramic really cute. Sometimes these Yankee items can be quite collectible. And what I'm guessing is that they had just gotten a donation from somebody who collected nutcrackers because what is this? Look at this guy. So he is a bird watcher. I think some people also call them birders. I have a friend and her husband is a birder. And so that's a pretty insane nutcracker. And I wasn't that excited about it when I saw that it was made in China. Um, just because I think that the more valuable ones are made in Germany. I've, son I've sold nutcrackers before, but I thought that was pretty nice for $3.99. And of course, he came with his girlfriend here. So aren't those bizarre? And I looked really quickly. I couldn't find any comps. And I didn't see any breaks or anything, but you know, she's got like a, just a tiny, tiny hint of wear, I think on her nose, yeah. Nothing terrible. And the other thing I observed is he might, uh, yeah, I think he's supposed to have glasses. See that notch on his nose? That seems like that's where glasses would be. Anyway, I thought these were pretty wacky. So I will try to figure out what these are. That's not bad for eight bucks, right? Maybe I will get lucky on these, we shall see. They are wood. I think they're just magnificent. I love these. So these are, I guess you could say they're objects of beauty. <laughs> Not to my eyes, but to somebody's eyes. But they're definitely a little bit unusual and hopefully they're collectible too. So this seemed like an interesting collectible item possibly. You can tell that it's a little bit vintage. It kind of looks 60s or 70s vintage. Not, you know, 1800s or anything. But it was 250 and it is marked on the bottom. The John Witherspoon House by Michael A. Parkinson. I don't know who John Witherspoon is. I guess it's some sort of historic figure. So I got this, just thinking maybe this is a collectible. Couldn't find any comps on it. I just have to research this down. But I thought that was just kind of a cool looking item. I could see somebody wanting this. Good price, right? I got this awesome kit. Look at a make it and bake it. I don't remember ever doing a make it and bake it, but I think I did do some sort of, maybe it was this name brand. I don't know. I seem to remember doing this at some point in the 80s. This is probably from the 70s or 80s, right? Let's see. Whoa, those are cool. How do you do this? Do not take internally, you think? This is so great. Look at all these. Whoa. Oh, 84. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, I want to try to do this. How do you do it? Uh, okay, uh, just need a cookie sheet, some foil. I see. I want to do this. We should do this together, right? How do you put the colors in? Is there a pattern? I don't get it. Is there? Oh, I see. That's your pattern. All right. I think I might be able to do that. <laughs> it's all red, a little bit yellow, a little bit green. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I can do this. I bought the CD player at a thrift store. I think this is very unusual. Iron Man 2. It wasn't that much. $4. Yeah, for $4, I'll take a gamble. Let's see what the name brand is. Um, hmm. I don't see one here. I have to test this, make sure it works. There is no cord with it, but we'll stick some batteries in it and see if this thing works. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool radio, right? Radio CD player. So we will definitely have a look at that and see. Hopefully that's collectible. We're going to find out. So I bought this on Amazon. This is a winder thing in all the different sizes. Sometimes you find items like this and you don't know if they work because you can't wind them because the key is missing. So I did try this before. This does work, but let me try to figure out what winder it is. Hold on. 
So I used that smallest one right there, wound it up. Isn't that fun? It works way better when you're on a floor. I'm just, I have this like tablecloth thing here. Um, but yeah, it, it it's, it's pretty cool, right? And it's tin, of course. This is metal. Isn't that fun? I found this at, where was I? I think I was like in a little, kind of an antique store kind of thing. And it was 10. And I figured it might sell for something. I don't know. It probably sells for 10 with my luck. But then I will just keep it because I kind of love it. Cute, right? Really in beautiful condition. You can see the... There's not a lot of loss of paint or anything like that. Thought I would take a chance. I love it either way. So I will confess, I am a tech addict and a Bluetooth addict. I love Bluetooth earphones and I love Bluetooth speakers. I uh, just love them. I don't know why. So I find it very hard to resist these. I don't know if they sound good or if they even work. But these were a couple of dollars at a yard sale, so I got these. So the beauty here is if they don't sell, and they may not, uh, then I will keep them because I can never have too many Bluetooth items. So I found some nice little things at a yard sale, some Bibles and stuff. And this is a lovely little book that might bring somebody uh, joy or comfort. So... I uh, haven't looked this up yet, but how pretty is that? It's in nice condition. And then, yeah, this whole stack of stuff. Oh, someone was playing craps. Huh. That's interesting. I don't know why you need that. But, oh, look at this lovely little die cut. How pretty is that? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, there's like a lot of these little religious cards. Aren't these nice? I wonder what these are prayer cards. How nice. These have some nice age on them. Hmm. Look at that. I wonder how old these are. I don't know. Old. Plenty old. Antique for sure. Right? They're 100 years old or more, I would think. Anyway, I thought these were really nice. They had a lot of stuff like this, but I was just sort of picking out the best ones. But somebody was quite religious, as you can see. How nice. Oh, Waterbury, Connecticut. That's good that it has that specificity because if I put it on eBay, I would put that and then maybe somebody from that church would like to have it. 1879, yeah. That's what it looks like, right? 1800s, late 1800s, early 1900s. So, Calexico Club. No idea. Oh, it's like a racing thing. No correction after race, huh? interesting and then i don't know what do you think you think that's worth anything old disneyland tickets i don't i have no idea i don't know i just thought maybe right 10 cents huh is that is that right it's not 10 cents anymore that's for sure coupon huh don't know don't tell anyone i told you tattling tootsie that's really cute. I never tell tales, said mother's child, but the cook is driving my poor ma wild. Too often the dinner dessert isn't done, except when she fixes bromangelin. <laughs> I see. You're just an advertisement for bromangelin, the original dessert jelly. I gotcha. I just thought it was a cute little booklet, but it it, it is. Huh. Powdered Dessert jelly. Result, the most delicious and pure dessert jelly ever produced. Flavors, lemon, orange, raspberry, strawberry, cherry, and chocolate. Ew, chocolate jelly? I'm not thinking so. Anyway, the things you find, right? <laughs> That's actually very cute. And of course, I got a lot of jewelry, but I will do, a, well, not a lot of jewelry. I got some jewelry, I should say, but I will do a separate video on that. But look, I found a hand. I collect hand jewelry, and so I was very excited. Look at the pinky. Isn't that nice? I love this. I don't know if that's the 1928 swirl or not, or something else. Not sure what it is. Doesn't matter to me, because I'm just keeping it, but it might be 1928. 
because these are clay or porcelain or ceramic or whatever they are. Here's an interesting item I found over the summer. So apparently somebody had to send away for this and they got it from the Hartford Current. Is there a year? Uh, yep, 1987, okay. And it says Jackie Gleason, let's take a look at this. How moving is this cartoon? Look at that. Signed by the artist. This was a dollar at a yard sale and I just had to have it. I am going to sell it. But that is just very, very, very moving. Isn't that nice? So somebody sent away for this. I think it will add to the value that it comes in its original envelope. And then it also came with this little certificate thing or this little card. Bob Englehart, the first full-time editorial cartoonist at the Hartford Current, was born in Fort Wayne, Indiana. He attended the Academy American Academy of Art in Chicago. His cartoons are syndicated worldwide by Copley News Service. This is really beautiful. I loved Jackie Gleason, uh, the great one, right? I've read a couple of books about his life. Very, very complicated man, but a genius to be sure. So I think this is a very touching thing. I can imagine somebody who likes Jackie Gleason would be very, very interested in this item. Or, or someone who liked the Honeymooners too, maybe, you know? So I thought that was very, very interesting and an unusual item. Never seen anything like this before. And it's just terrific that it is signed by Bob Englehart. I often have great luck selling Christmas ornaments. This is adorable. Boop, oop, a doop. And it is a sound one. I thought that was pretty fun. This was a dollar at a yard sale, so we'll see if this sells for anything. I just love Betty Boop. She is so sexy. I remember the censors, well, I don't remember it, but <laughs> reading about it, the censors really had a fit, and at some point she had to stop being so revealing, those original cartoons. You have to kind of get the pre Hayes codes one, and you'll see her in all of her naughty glory. <laughs> so tame by today's standards, right? But that's pretty cute. So hopefully this will sell. And then I got some kits too. I love selling craft kits. So let's take a look at those real quick. So here's a Mary Maxim kit I got. So you have to look at which box is ticked on these. So there's three pictures, but this is only one of them. So it's the Screaming Mimi's and Black Tree. No, nope, that one's not checked. Plastic Needlepoint Party Favors. No, it's not that one. Yeah, it's this one. I see. Adorable. Musical Plastic Needlepoint Ghosts with Pumpkins. Really cute. So, and it's all nice and complete. Whoa, look at this thing. That is awesome. Another plastic canvas. Wall decoration. She's awesome. Whoa, she has a bat. Look at her purple eyeshadow. Fabulous. Love this. This is great. Of course, I don't know how to do any of this stuff, but I really admire people who do know how to do it so much. Really, people are talented out there. Just saying. Black cat, of course. The obligatory black cat for Halloween. That's great. Hobbycraft, I've never heard of that. But that is cool. And what is this one? Cappy, okay. Oh, I see. It's like a fence and pumpkins, I guess. I'm going to take a closer look at that. So that's cool, right? So I have water boiling on the stove and I'm just gonna show you one of these. Now, these are magic mugs. I love buying magic mugs. That's an Energizer one, let's see. You can see they were $2 each. What is this one? I don't know who that is, but that is some sort of a magic mug. And who are you? Hmm, maybe we'll just do this one. I don't wanna do all of them because they are new. Oh, they have lids too, that's interesting. And, ah, Tweety Bird. Yeah, I think we should do, well, let me just see what this one is first. Hold on. I know what they are because I did pull each one out before I bought them. They had many, many more on the table, but I just bought these coolest ones. Hold on. Oh, yeah, Garfield. So when you put hot water in here, there's going to be a surprise right there, you see. I don't know what the surprise is, but let's find out what Tweety's surprise is. So this one is Tweety, Sylvester, and, and Snoopy? Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna put hot water in it. Looks like that's the part that's gonna be revealed. Okay, let me go get the boiling water, hold on. Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen. I have no guesses. Put the hot water in it. Did 
There it goes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's adorable. Oops. Look how cute that is. Oh, wow. Oh, I just love these magic mugs. Isn't that a blast? So fun. And I don't know what the other mugs do, but I'm not going to try them all. Wait, should I? I should do another one, right? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to do one more. I want to do that Garfield one. Let's do it. So here's Garfield, Robin Hood Garfield. And then something's going to happen here. No idea. Let me get the water. All right, here goes nothing. That's pretty cute. <laughs> oh, man, how fun. Don't you love these? Have you ever seen these mugs before? They're fun, right? I have one more. This one is quite risque. Watch this. Okay. You probably know what's going to happen, right? Come on, Santa. Keep your clothes on. Keep them on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh-oh. Oh, here he goes. Woo, what? Nice. Yeah, Santa. Oh, that's pretty hot, <laughs> right? Very funny. How cute are those mugs? Anyway, I have a bunch of these. I will show you some more maybe another time. Super fun. Love it. I have one last item today. I could not believe this doll. This is one of those uber realistic baby dolls. This is absolutely incredible. And I'll tell you something. It feels like a real baby. Look at the veins. Sorry, I think that's like a little bit of water from when I was just putting it in those mugs. See how you can see veins? How unbelievably cool and beautiful and exquisite is this doll? Look at that. Let's take a look at the face. Wow. Now, it is missing a few eyelashes, so I am not clever enough, somebody else would be, to just go to CVS or something and buy some fake eyelashes and glue them on one by one. I can't do that. And I believe this hair, I think that's human hair, and I think it's supposed to be like that, too, just the way a newborn baby would be. So realistic and feels so heavy. She has a binky, or he has a binky somewhere. Where did I just put that? Hold on. Uh-oh, lost binky. Let me find it, hold on. Here's the binky. And it is magnetic, so how clever is that? I'm not sure which way it goes. Does it go like this? Ah, I think it was like this, right? This is absolutely unbelievable. Now, I did get this in a Goodwill, and I said to the you know little girl behind the counter, I mean, young woman, not a little girl, but I said to her, um, did you feel this thing? And she said, believe it or not, everybody who works in here, we all took turns holding her because she just feels like a real baby. And I mean, it's probably like eight pounds or something. So I wanna show you the artist here. Oops, black chihuahua fur. I'll show you the artist. Let's see who it is. Yeah, Taylor Tammy Yari. And it turns out this is a quite collectible item as you could probably imagine. And she did come, or he did come. What do you think? I guess that's a boy. Well, hard to know, right? <laughs> but um, there is a whole outfit that this baby doll came with. I don't know if it's originally with it, because that's a onesies. I don't know if that's, like if somebody just put a preemie, like a baby um, outfit on it, or if that originally came with it. Anyway, I am just crazy about this baby. It's unbelievable how real it looks. Glass eyes, I think. So these are some of my eBay adventures. Hopefully I will make some money on some of these things. Let me know what you think about the video. I hope that this was interesting to you, whether or not you're an eBay seller. I hope you just kind of enjoy coming to hang out with me to go through some of my stuff. All right? 
Be well, everybody. Thank you again so much for coming. And I will be doing a jewelry haul video shortly. I did get a lot of great stuff. All right. Thanks a million, everybody. Cheers.